If you're looking for a family-friendly event today, then you may want to head to Hudson. Some of the smartest border collies in the country compete in sheep herding challenges at the Badlands Snow Park. Rebecca Cole shows us more. They're fast, keen-eyed, tenacious, energetic, and responsive. And here in a pasture of sheep, the natural instincts of the border collie kicks in. The dogs are sent out about 600 yards to retrieve and guide sheep through an obstacle course of sorts. Now, while the dogs know instinctively what they need to do, they are trained to wait for commands from their owners by way of a whistle. Every whistle, loud, soft, short, or choppy, is related to a command the handler is sending to the dog. Move to the left, move to the right, go backward, come forward. It's 100 points on this whole course, this is based all on the dog's natural ability. A dog should naturally be able to do an outrun lift and fetch without a lot of interaction between the handler and the dog. As the story goes, in Ireland probably hundreds of years ago, two old farmers said, I bet I can get my dog to do a trial, a course, from here to here, through this gate and that gate, faster than yours. That's just the myth. So this is where it is. Our dogs are bred to work. Our dogs are bred centuries of breeding, bred not on how they look, but how they work. If you like dogs and you like to see dogs work, this is the place. They're the best. And come on out. The weather, Wisconsin, doesn't get any better. Good people. We're setting four head of sheep today. They're setting out there at that orange cone. It's probably 300 yards, give or take a little bit from here to there. And for cancer survivor Thad Fleming of Missouri, sheepdog trials provided a therapy of sorts. So how'd you get into this? So I got into this from cancer. I had B-cell lymphoma and uh, I lost about a year of my life from it. And that's and I got into it because of that. That's something I, my son and I could do together. And I couldn't run. I couldn't do a lot of things. You know, I go to a baseball game. I just sit there and watch because I couldn't, I wasn't able to do nothing. Well the dog for something we could do together, so then we just kept on doing it. This is what the dogs love. This is what they were bred to do. These dogs naturally start at a young age and can balance themselves off of you and the sheep. So the trials end this afternoon as the top dogs compete for the championship. And let me tell you, if you're tired of the crowds at the state fair, this is the place to come for a little bit of open spaces, some serenity, and of course, dog kisses. Rebecca Coles, WCCO News. Rebecca says the challenges are twice as hard for today's finals competition. Oh, okay. I have to check in with her and see what happens. <laughs> Rebecca will post some videos and photos on her Instagram. You can always find her DIY tips for the home and garden.